All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a rabbitry update. Won't be much, but. Um, Queen Anne's lace died today. Or she died last night. Um, I knew she wasn't feeling well yesterday, so I moved her to a more comfortable area. Uh, um, but unfortunately she didn't make it. So, uh, I no longer have Queen Anne's Lace. I did, or I attempted to do an autopsy to see if I could figure out, um, why. But as I am not, um... I'm not greatly skilled in that. Um, she had been dead long enough that the body was doing what it naturally does and begins to uh, float. Um, from what I recall and from what I looked up, it didn't look like she had a disease. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure because I am not... Um, I'm not a pro or anything. This is the first time I've tried to do an autopsy on one of my rabbits. Um, but it didn't look like that there was um, signs of a disease. Um, all I can really say is that, yes, she did have a lot of fat, so she probably had a fatty liver. Um, and she was indeed pregnant. And that is all I can say for certain. And thinking about building a pyre like I did for Garden Spirit. So, yes, I have lost one of my rabbits, and I am kind of sad about that. Um, Opal is not showing the same signs. Uh, none of my other rabbits are showing the same signs. Um, but I guess I'll just have to keep an eye on them for the next couple of days. Uh, keep as close an eye on them as I can. I have moved Nevin up here into this cage over here. It's smaller, but, um, I just, I'd feel better if he's closer to the house at this point, because I think he's just getting real old. Um, BJ will stay in the tractor that he's in for now, but I'll probably move him to the front yard tractor after a while. Um, oh, I do have a little bit of a story. So, the red ginger litter, I originally counted four babies when I first counted them. Come out to find that there was actually five babies in there. Came out one morning and there was only four babies again. Looked around, couldn't find him, and gave him up for lost. Came out the next day, and I found this little guy right here, curled up down there. It was a miracle, so, but he seems to be doing okay. So there's five little babies in here again. So they're doing all right. Um, he probably got out of that gap back there, which I don't know where that came from. So that's one of the biggest problems that I have with that. Um... These guys are doing well. I know. And then these guys have learned to come out of the nesting box. So I am planning on keeping a female from this litter. I don't know who is female yet, but the idea, honestly, it's between. If one of these two is a female, it's between this little black otter or this, like, I want to say Dutch black otter. That's what they look like. It's between one of these two. Because they're just so cute. But that's if they're girls. So. Anyways, they're doing alright. Hello. No new babies yet, but hopefully we'll be expecting um, here soon. 
Well, at the end of the month, hopefully, Opal will have babies for me. Yes. And then hopefully, um, Apple Lily will too. And uh, these guys are doing alright as well. I just weaned them today. They're just lounging here in the in the shade. Mama's back here with the other rabbit that will be ready to butcher next month. So I will probably butcher the two of them sometime next month. Um, other than that, there's not a whole lot else to update on rabbitry wise. So yeah. There's that. Um, well, I hope you guys are having a good week. Hope everything's going well for you. You guys stay safe out there. It's getting really rough in some places. and I'll see you next week.